Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver Sparkles and I was gonna take a little bit of time today to just spend with you while I'm crafting um, and show you how I make some of my collage master boards but then also how, how I use them um, or at least one or two ideas of how I use them. So I think again if you've been with me for a while or you follow me on some of my other social platforms you know I love to collage and I love um, inspiring words and so this is a collage that wasn't made using a collage master board but I um, just as I worked I layered different papers and textures and some stickers okay which and I think it turned out lovely so that's that. But then this is one that I used using a portion of just some collage master board that I've made. And um, sometimes uh, sometimes you just wanna tear paper up and, and, and glue it down and then see, see what kind of pretty things you can make. So I um, make collage master board using scraps often and we'll have it on hand. Um, I make small cards, I make collages, I make tags. I even will just use this down then in a, in a journal page. Um, th there's, it's just so many ideas of what you can do. But so today we, I was gonna show you just how quick and easy it is to, to make a sheet. You can make it, in, if you have scraps of paper like I do from, from my Etsy shop, once I print the postage, the, the postage label, I have half a piece of paper left, and so that's, this is the size I often am collaging on. However, you could do a full sheet, or you could cut it into the sizes, uh, larger sizes, smaller sizes. Um, I like to do a little bit bigger pieces so that I have options if I do want to trim it up or cut them into tags or something, okay? Okay, so there's a couple that I made earlier today. This is one I made a while back and then added um, a quote and a butterfly too, and it just is a lovely little collage. All right, so obviously you need some kind of paper. Um, you could also use a junk mail, old envelopes, different things, because I am gonna use glue stick today. I've got a magazine just so that I don't get too much glue um, on my, my craft board. Okay, all right, so I do like, um, to use some book page, things like that in my collage. And a lot of times I'll even start with some book page to get me going, uh, maybe in the middle or on one of the edges. I don't know if I did on this one. Yeah, there's some there in the middle, but I've ended up covering a great deal of it up, which is okay too. Um, definitely like lots of layers. So, I, uh, glue sticks, you know, it, it's your choice. The, this is one that I love. Um, and I tend to use um, quite often, but um, no one's paying me to say that or endorsing it. I just find it easy to use and um, doesn't seem to fail or pull up it on, on me. So, um, I just went through earlier and grabbed some, just some papers from my scrap bin, and I have multiple scrap bins, but right now this is kind of what my scrap bin's looking like. I got that in, um, in, in the camera. So, what I usually do is just this. I just grab a handful. <laughs> And then I have something to work with right here close by. And um, so if you don't have a lot of scraps, um, you can you can make scraps. It's okay to take a piece of paper that you like the colors of and decide you're gonna collage with it. Um, but the more you, you craft, the more you'll end up with, with some extras um, that you can then hopefully use for other projects. Um, I, I have a hard time throwing my scraps away and uh, it, it's a problem. Um, but, the, but then I feel good when I um, start doing this type of art and I 
have some lovely, lovely things from that big pile that's been sitting um, here near my desk. Now I do like, if you see, I hope I'm in camera. Um, I like the edge that I had torn there and I'm kind of covering it up <laughs> with all these straight edges. So I think what I'm gonna do, even though I've already glued this one because I would like a torn edge, is I'm gonna just tear it before I stick it down. And this one I can probably use here. All right. Um, I'm, I'm digging through my pile. And I think the, be the biggest thing to remember when you're doing this type of collaging, don't overthink it. Um, even if in the moment you're like, you're not sure if that's going to go together. Uh, you can always add another layer, first of all, but you, it, it's amazing how things you would least expect to um, look nice beside each other. Just pull your project together. So give it a chance. And uh, I, I try not to perseverate too much over the pieces I'm choosing. I am excited about this piece of polka dot of paper I just found. And I'll show you where I'm going to put it. Let's see. Yeah. Bring it on down into here. This one is more of a card stock weight and it's not, it wasn't sticking quite as well, but it's okay now. Let's see. Oh, that'll be pretty right there. Okay, see how quick and easy that was? Um, to now have a piece when it dries, hopefully it won't be as curly, right? <laughs> you can always place these under heavy books or under something heavy and flat. And um, when, it, when it dries, it'll be perfect. Um, no worries. It's just the glue is still a little damp. Okay. So now I'm going to take, probably I'll take one if I bury it over here under my, under my scraps and um, show you what we could do. So we, we can make a, a big collage, um, just page, card, like the size I have here. And, um, or we could go ahead and cut this and, um, or tear it, uh, and decide, um, to make some smaller ones, right? And I think I'm going to do that. I've got different thicknesses of paper, so I'm going to have to be careful tearing here. Ha! It worked fine. Um, and I'm going to ink just a touch around this torn edge. I had already gone around this one just a little bit earlier. Okay, so we're going to make a collage right here on just this portion. And now I, I still have this portion I can use. Um, I did get a request to do a process video for some of my collage strips that I've made that I then go back and embellish uh, quite a bit. And that is on my to-do list. I might even get to it this weekend, which would be wonderful. Um, I do have a couple of things going on in my family this weekend, so we'll see. Um, my youngest daughter is coming home for spring break um, from college. Her dad is picking her up, in fact, as, we, as, as I'm filming. So we'll be a little busy this weekend at my house. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to my little um, jar where I've kept some words and that I've already mounted and quoted. I also have some handwritten ones, um, which I, I use quite a bit. I think we'll use this one. It's a, it's a Marilyn Monroe quote. Keep smiling because life is a beautiful thing and there is so much to smile about. All right, so before I stick anything else down though, I do wanna see you know what other types of embellishments am I thinking about. Um, just starting to grab things laying here on my desk. I'm gonna 
open a little drawer over here and get out some of my stickers and just see if anything grabs grabs my attention. Um, flowers, more butterflies. I, I I'm a sucker for the butterflies, you guys. It's a hard it's hard for me to say no to a butterfly. There's some I don't know which colors are going to. Probably not the pastels. Let's see. Maybe one from this collection. And we can, we've got a bird and a pretty flower already. Maybe what it needs is a nice butterfly. Ooh. See? It just jumps out at you sometimes what's going to work. Okay. Um, all right. And maybe some lace or some ribbon. Can also, I have sitting here, um, my watch is telling me I need to stand up. Let's see, I have, that I've, that I've already cut out, little, um, uh, I don't know what you call these, industrial tags. Here's one that looks like a domino. <laughs> more words, more quotes, more numbers. Um, you know, all these kinds of things that I like to add to my art. Let's see if we can find something. All right. I do need a little bit of ink for the edges. And again, I'm not really overthinking this one. We're just going to put it down. The butterfly is jumping away. Okay. Let me do this and then we'll consider some ribbon or some lace. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Do you like to use a lot of ribbon and lace or do you prefer to keep it less bulky um, and a little bit flatter? I know for me, I'm going to put this up and use my other glue. I know for me, it, you know, it depends on what, if it's going to go into a journal that that's already full of chunky things, then I'm like, ah, let's just add some more, right? If it's um, something that I want to lay flat in a, in a different style or size journal, then I, I might skip it. Um, you know, if I'm making a card, again, depends on the who the recipient is or what the theme or the thought of the card is about. Um, when I make my husband a card, for example, I usually don't put too many ribbons on it. Not that he would care, but it just doesn't seem like the vibe I'm going for. When I make one for my daughter, she gets, she gets lots of ribbons. <laughs> so there you go. Tell me what you guys think in the comments that I'd like to know. I am going to maybe, yeah, I'm going to use my little tiny attacher, my Tim Holtz tiny attacher. It's just a miniature stapler um, here. If I can hold it straight for a second, it works just like a stapler. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you like it? I like it. Um, so again, it can just be a standalone piece. It can go inside a journal. You could mount it on another piece of cardstock or mat it. Um, there, there's lots of different things you could do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It wasn't a super long one, um, but it gave you some inspiration and some ideas of how you can start making your own collage master boards and um, use up your scraps. Okay, have a great day. Oh, uh, again, don't forget, please like my video, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and tell your friends. Thanks, bye.